So if you're aware of what goes on in the uh, UK theme park community, you'll probably be aware of the common conversation I uh, haven't heard it that much about the UK's first RMC. Where will it go? How many inversions will it have? How tall will it be? Is it going to Thought Park? No, it probably isn't. But I'm not here to discuss that conversation. I'm here to do that conversation. <laughs> I'm here to build something related to that conversation. So if you're not aware, RMC or Rocky Mountain Construction is a roller coaster manufacturer from America. They're commonly known for converting old wooden roller coasters into steel and wooden hybrids. Uh, they do some other stuff as well, but that's not relevant right now. As said, the key point, conversions of old wooden roller coasters, and what better place to go for old wooden coasters than Blackpool Pleasure Beach? Of course, Blackpool has four wooden roller coasters. You've got Nickelodeon Streak and, uh, what's it called? Blue Flyer. I almost called it Zipper Dipper. Them two, we're not, we're not going to touch them. Um, but then you go over to Big Dipper and Grand National. Now, both of these are very Marmite coasters. You seem to, you love it, or you sincerely despise it. I sat there and I thought, you know what? Converting one of these two wooden roller coasters uh, into an RMC would not only be very controversial to some people, um, but it would be a lot of fun to do. So today, I'm going to have my own shot at building the Grand National, or rebuilding it, as an RMC. Now, of course, me making this video doesn't mean it's going to happen in real life, you know? They're not going to... Amanda Thompson's not going to look at my video and go, Oh, you know what? Planet Coaster? Good design. <laughs> I'm going to take that. As I said, Planet Coaster. Here we are. Um, I actually was, last year, voted in the Clamshell Awards as the 2020 Best Gamer, officially. Despite the fact I've not played Planet Coaster four months prior. But that doesn't matter. So what have we got here? We've got the Grand National layout over here, put on some billboards, which... I, f I completely forgot how to do. I had to look it up again, but whatever. And then quite noticeably over here, we've got Valhalla and Ice Blast, which this whole kind of area was made by the Roller Ghoster. Um, I have done some little updates on the side to make it fit in more with Grand National, but it's a very nice recreation, so go check it out. I just wanted to use it as a backbone, so there's somewhat of a setting to go off. And you may be thinking, Dan, you've jumped the gun uh, with starting it already. Um, I have. <laughs> So we're going to start building up the lift here. Um, it is around 60 feet, I believe, which... We may go slightly over, but that doesn't matter. It's on scale. We get to the top here. We're going to have a gradual decline here. We're going to bank it left. It's so nice being able to do what I want instead of recreating it. It's so... Freedom. Freedom feels nice. Of course, I am going to stick to the layout. I'm not going to absolutely destroy it all. Sometimes after a ride on it, I do want to destroy it. And then we basically go straight from here to over there. It does look a bit wiggly in between, but that is because Google Maps has kind of... The angle of the drops makes it look like it goes left and right, but it is just straight. We're going to drop it down here. I think an airtime hill on this side would be nice. I think an inversion on the other side might be better. I can't remember what it does from here. What does it do? It goes double down then oh i'm gonna have to look up a pov one hour later i've checked the pov and all it really does is go down from here double down then back up into this hill over here so we've got um a lot more space than i thought oh my god it's so slow let's um cheat the system a little bit there we go make that a little bit less banked and we'll come round. ready 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 for this absolute genius? Bang. And then you know what? We're going to throw it back to the actual Grand National. The ride we're basing this off, I've hardly done anything of. But I'm going to drop it down into a double down. There's so little you can do with this ride. It's hilarious. And then we're going to stick an inversion in here because there's only been one on this ride so far. Now I feel like it needs a few more. Oh, you know what? You know what? For a laugh. Look at the smoothness. It's almost identical to real life. Now here's a question for you all. Would you rather fight 100 Grand National sized uh, Val Valhalla's or okay no I feel like me building this is um kind of stepped it down a notch <laughs> um the clearance on that may be a bit questionable you know what they say safety is 
they do say number one priority and I've just claimed that the clearance is bad. That's not good. So this bit's going to stick very similar to real life and um, basically just go up and down. <laughs> How quick does it go through this? About the perfect speed, I reckon. That, that inversion there is a very, very whippy inversion. Let me come back down. And we'll be back alongside the... Jesus, it's so loud. Yes, my forthcoming genius plan worked. Um, where this is now started on the left, ended on the right, which means it can actually go back into the station it started in. And then we go up. That's just not going to chop people's heads off, is it? So, of course, on the Grand National, there are two separate tracks, and I don't want to make you sit through the pain of seeing me build the other one. So, um... Here's a short montage. Oh, copying this side to side is going to be horrible. We've got the second lift hill that's gone up, and we've got the first downwards corkscrew, and then down uh, into a little airtime hill underneath the zero G roll. What is that? If I'm honest, I went into this thinking, oh, you know what, this will be really fun. And it's just been so difficult ever since I started. We test them both at the same time for the first time. Jesus, that one's still going down its drop. Oh my God, they are so out of time. Quite close. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, where the hell did that other one go? <laughs> yeah, I know I skipped a lot of that out, but um, that is the coaster as a whole. And that is the Grand National rmc -ified. That was a lot more stressful than I thought it would be. Um, I was stressing out half the time wondering where the hell I would go next, but we got there in the end. And of course, to end it all off, here is a side-by-side -side POV of both the track layouts. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you all next time.